class in today's class we will discuss one more example on finding the solution of linear Diophantine equation the equation is 172x plus 20y equal to 1000 the solution we need to find for xy belongs to z and for xy belongs to z plus means xy belongs to set of integers xy belongs to set of positive integers you need to find what are the solution okay without wasting time we move on as you know what is given given is 172x plus 20y equal to 1000 this is our given equation so we need to compare this equation with your standard equation ax plus by equal to c what is that it has a solution what is the condition if and only if d divides c what is d where d is gcd of a and b one must keep this in mind okay by using euclidean algorithm we need to find gcd of 172 and 20 let us start how you are going to find 172 20 divides 172 okay 20 into 8 160 so it is 12 again 12 divides 20 12 into 1 so it is 8 8 divides 12 8 into 1 it is 4 4 divides 8 4 into 2 8 is 0 okay now how you are going to write by Euclid's algorithm One seventy two can be written as twenty into eight plus twelve. Again, twenty it's written as twelve into one plus eight. Twelve is written as eight into one plus four. Then eight is four into two is 0 ok what is the no last non zero reminder it is 4 therefore gcd of 172 and 20 is what it is 4 once you find gcd what is the next step next we need to check whether d divides c ok d is 4 what is c here c is 1000 ok is it divides s what you will get you will get a 250 so what it, it means it means given equation admits solutions it means it has a solutions okay now we proceed now we need to take care of uh, find the solution in such a way that for the finding the solution what we need to do we need to take a linear combination of a and b in terms of gcd what is our gcd that d so for that our d is 4 okay our d is 4 we need to take care of this a and b we need to express them in terms of 4 for that we need to go back like this okay in a reverse order so gcd 4 can be written it can be written as 12 minus 8 into 1 okay so it is 12 minus 1 into 8 so 12 minus 1 8 can be written as 20 minus 12 into 1 20 minus 12 into 1 and again open this 12 1 times 20 plus 12 into 1 okay so what it means so it means 12 2 times minus 20 1 times now again express 12 for 12 how you write using this expression 12 can be written as 2 as it is to keep it outside 12 is 172 minus 20 into 8 and minus 20 into 1 as it is now 2 times 172 minus 20 into 8 into 2 16 minus 20 into 1 so what happens now 2 times 172 
minus 17 times 20. Okay. Now, how you will express? 4 can be expressed as 172 is your A. 172 into 2 plus 20 is B into minus 17. Okay. Now, I want to make this as given equation. So, multiply whole equation with what? With 250. I want to make this as 1000. So, we need to multiply with 250. So, what happens? 4 into 250 is equal to 172 into 2 into 250 plus 20 into minus 17 into 250. So, this left hand side becomes uh, 1000 and here 172 into 500 plus 20 minus 17 into 250 will give you 4250. So, when you compare this with the original equation, these two 500 and minus 4250 are what? These are the particular solution that is x naught and y naught. Okay. So, therefore, x naught is equal to 500, y naught equal to minus 4250 are particular solutions. These are the particular solutions. Now, now they ask you to find the solutions for when x, y are integers. Okay. So, for that we need to find the general solution for both the condition. For the first condition, it is that for x, y belongs to z. Okay. So, according to a particular condition, general solution is given by according to the formula. So, x1 is equal to it is x0 plus b by d into t and y1 equal to y0 minus a by d into t. This is the formula. Okay. So, what is your x0 now? x0 is 500 plus what is your b? b is 20, d is 4, 25, 20 by 4 into t and y1 is, y0 is minus 4250 minus a is 172 divided by 4 into t. So, simplify. So, what happens? x1 equal to x1 equal to 500 plus 5t and y1 equal to minus 4250 minus 43t. These are the general solutions where x1, y1 belongs to z. Okay. Uh, general solutions where x1, y1 belongs to z. So, it, where t belongs uh, t belongs to z. t is in any integer. Okay. This is for first question. Now, the second question what they asked, they asked you to find the solution for x, y belongs to set of positive integers. So, we need to find the two positive integers x and y for which the solution exists. Okay. For that, what we need, what it means? It means x1 must be greater than 0 and y1 must be greater than 0. You should not have a negative values. Okay. Now, x1 is what? If x1 must be greater than 0 means what? x1 what we have got? 500 plus 5t should be greater than 0 and minus 4250 minus 43t should be greater than 0. Okay. What it implies? 5t must be greater than minus 500 or you can say t must be greater than 
minus 100 and here 43t less than minus 4250 okay then t must be less than minus 4250 divided by 43 what it means t must be less than you will get a minus 98.8 some, something around like this okay simplify it you can check so what it means t must be greater than minus 100 and less than minus 98.8 means what t must lies between minus 100 and minus 98.8 means what that is minus 100 less than t less than 98 minus 98.8 so between minus 100 and 98 this is a decimal we have to need, we need to con consider the integers so between minus 100 and 98 only there is a only one term okay because t must be an integral value so for that for t must be an integral value t must be minus 99 okay so for that t must be minus 99 so once you have got t substitute in x1 and y1 therefore x1 equal to 500 plus 5t in place of t substitute 99 so x1 equal to what happens simplified 500 then minus 99 into 5 so we'll get 500 minus 495 so your answer will be x1 is plus 5 and y1 is minus 4250 minus 43 into minus 99 so y1 equal to minus 4250 plus 4257 so y1 will gives you this somewhere so what are these these are the positive integer Hence, x comma y equal to phi comma seven belongs to positive integers are the solutions. This is how to find the solutions for the given Diophantine equation in two case cases. Okay, in the next class. We will discuss uh, some more examples, different examples on polynomial congruence. We will start next polynomial congruence. Try to solve such examples. If you have any doubts, please comment on the comment box. Okay. I will give some examples for workout. Try this. If you get any doubt, do comment in the comment box. I have solved two examples. So, this is third one 39x minus 56y equal to 11. Find the solution for this general solution. And fourth one 7x plus 18y equal to 208. And fifth one 56x plus 72y is equal to 40. Okay. Find the general solution of these examples. In the next class, we will discuss the concept of polynomial congruence. Till then, keep practicing. If you have any doubts, please comment in the comment box. If you are not yet subscribed my channel, do subscribe and support my channel. Till then, take care. Thank you.